Good evening and welcome to Angels Don't Lie. I'm your host, Jeannie Street, and I'm so excited that you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a lovely show set up for you, and it is it is spring, and I'm happy that it's spring. Even though the weather's not cooperating here in the Northeast saying that it's spring, it's spring. So tonight in the studio, I have KJ Johansson joining me. And, uh, of course, we have the famous Casey. Yes. Casey, Howdy. How are you? I'm doing great tonight. You're doing great tonight? Yes. You're a man of few words tonight? <laughs> <laughs> He's always a man of few words. Well, until the good and show. And that's all he has for us tonight, The show folks. gets gr- in the groove, then, I'm, you know, everything settles down, then I'm better. Okay. Yeah. Because you get, like, stressed, right? Absolutely. But you think <laughs> I'd have this after well, 70 let me give you guys the... You what? I said, I think we'd have this figured out after, what, 74 episodes? You'd think, but you know what? <laughs> we're, we're always learning. There's, yep, always, there's always room for improvement. Absolutely. Amen. Angels tell you what to do. All right. So if you would like to speak with me tonight to talk to one of your loved ones um, that has crossed over or passed away, if you're looking for a little guidance, the number here is 646-891-5252. And you will be on air live with me, and we'll answer your questions. Or I will, unless it's, of course, directed towards KJ. But, hey, you never know. I, no. I, I don't know what I don't know what's going on in your life and what you need. So Comedy. <laughs> maybe maybe you need a little funny bone. I don't know. And, uh, Everybody needs a little funny bone. Ding! Yeah. Yep. So, hey, I wanted to send out um, my dear friend June, who is on the Warped View, she had asked for prayers for baby Alfie. Um, and I don't know if you've been following the news, um, but it's a very interesting story, um, Alfie Evans. And if you'd like to um, to help us, I would love for us to come together and send some prayers to not only the baby, but also to his parents who are really seeking the help that they need, the help that they want, and they're being told no, they're being denied. So for whatever reason um, this is happening, let's just send some prayer and some love over over to Alfie and his parents. Send it out. And um, <clears throat> thank you, June, for, for sending that and putting that, posting that in Angels Don't Lie. And anybody else who has, you know, a special request, you know, a special prayer. Yeah, if you have, if you'd like a special request or a prayer, you can um, join us in Angels Don't Lie, and we'd be happy to, um, you know, bring that forward for the group. So when we come together as that community, when our, our prayers are not just one, but many, it really does make a difference, and it really can move mountains. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to... Hello, I'd like to. I don't know what voice that is. I don't even know how I'm speaking like that. I don't know who I'm channeling. But hello, people. Um, I wanted to say welcome to our newest members in the Angels Don't Lie group. Uh, Jennifer, Cynthia, we have Lindsay, Jennifer Marie, Marielle, we have Molly, we have Tony, we have Nick, we have Denise, we have Anne Marie, Teresa. Cheryl, we're so happy to have you all here. And Ivy, um, Ivy didn't make that list for some reason. I think because Ivy maybe joined today and will be on the next week. But Ivy is brand new, and um, I think that Ivy's listening. So I just want to say a big shout out. Yes. She's yay. Just, she just loved it. So yay. Yay, yay, yay. <clears throat> all right. So I'll put that aside. I have my grandbabies tonight, so my head is a little spinning. Yeah. Um, and I did a little Facebook Live on the, the Angels Don't Lie group while they were here running in circles. And if you guys are on, have seen that, it, it, <laughs> you, I ran circles around yes, them. Yes, you did. You did. Yeah. It was Jeannie Street's um, reality, reality TV. TV. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm the small, medium, at large <laughs> running around. The day in a life of Jeannie Street. Day in a life. Day in a life. Yep. Readings by day, <laughs> chaos by night. That's no. right. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. As the world turns. turns. As the stomach turns. Yeah, as the stomach. <laughs> but we can create our own thing, right? We can. Yes, we, 
Uh, so what was the other one? General Hospital, so we could be like, oh. um, like sands through the hourglass. <laughs> yeah. So the are the, the days, days of our lives. lives. <laughs> that was an awesome. Oh. Right back in the day. Back in the day, I could watch. I could watch my soap operas. You know, like I could watch TV <laughs> from morning to late afternoon. I, I would know. just. You know, it was bad. Yeah, it was bad when you, you had babies and you couldn't leave. And you had babies at twenty. Jean-Jean. I had babies at twenties. And actually, I was going to tell them about my story because I, I, yeah, 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 I'm going to tell you guys about my my twenty year old self. That's a good. That's a good lead-in, by the way. It was. It, we really didn't even like plan I, that. I have no idea. We didn't even freaking plan that. And I totally wanted to swear, but Casey just texted and said we have a caller, so I totally didn't swear. Nice job. Caught Street. me, Casey. <laughs> he caught me. You stopped it. <laughs> caller in. Yeah, caller. Here we go. Okay, Casey, if you'd like to. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Hi, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Jeannie. Were you just kidding? Nope, we have some. Hi. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Ingrid. I'm sorry. Um, can you say that one more time? Keep Ingrid. me talking. Hi, Indri. How are you, honey? Oh, better, I guess. Okay. <laughs> are you you're calling from Ireland, right? No, I'm calling from Massachusetts. No. Oh, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. That's right. I have you mixed up with somebody else. Shout out oh. to Massachusetts. Shout out. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm fine so far. <laughs> okay. How can I help you tonight? Well, I keep hearing this message. I and I just I think I posted in there, and I just want to make sure that's not my mind who's trying to tell me. It actually a message from um, my angel. So, sure. Can you? Because I'm not on the Facebook, because I'm not allowed to do two oh. things at once anymore on the show. <laughs> can you tell oh, me what you wrote? What What is the message? Uh, I know, KJ I, cut me off. <laughs> it it just it's I don't wanna say it. I think it just um a nice message from me and saying that he'll be back and I just wanna sh- make sure that if yeah, he's for you, he'll be back. I just wanna make sure that's not my mind who I mean it's nice to, to hear it. Okay, oh, I'm just, I'm yeah. so sorry, but I'm very confused. I'm on. Um, you heard you heard an actual message that came into you. Yeah, and did I did I say something that kind of confirm it? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. That's what I want to confirm. If uh, if I have any message from my oh, okay. So you want me to yeah. thank you? Right, right, For, right. And so, um, are you talking about a message about um, a relationship that's here, or are you talking about a message that's coming from from heaven? About th- that's where I'm confused. I'm my head oh, is spinning uh, right now. Relationship, relationship, yeah. uh, sorry, um, relationship in here. Okay, thank you, thank you. So uh-huh. you're looking to hear from the angels if this relationship is is what it you are feeling that it's going to be. Right. Thank right. you. Okay. Okay. And this was the relationship that kind of was, it, it actually was, and then stopped. And then there's been, like, little bits of signs of it, of a renewal. Because that's yeah. what I get, a renewal. Do you understand the renewal? Okay. Yeah, and I see a sign all over, but I just probably didn't pick it up on it or didn't act on it. And I just brush it out. And I don't know. Yeah, and... So what I'm feeling is with that, with kind of like that spark of, of, and I feel like it's a spark. So that means like there's, there's energy in it. I I feel, don't feel like you're supposed to necessarily do anything about it, except for allow it to unfold and be very present in it, um, which is new for you because uh, you're witnessing on a different level this time. Do you understand that? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I feel like um, as as it's coming forward, and I do feel like it's it's coming in the later spring. So I feel like there's more time to be had, um, and it's gonna it is gonna speak to you. Like I feel like 
uh, little signs, a little, little bit more. Are you actually, have you actually been seeing this person? I had. Like, in passing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I do he's, feel he's like they're, dead. like, popping up in, in different... No. And what I mean, like, I feel like, I feel like there's random sightings, like, maybe his face pops up on social media, or maybe you, like, uh, you, you're seeing him passing. Like, I just feel like... Right, yeah. his name would just pop up, and and then uh, the uh, the plate license plate from where he come from, and it just pop up all over, and I was just didn't yes. do anything about it, and I that's thought, okay. It's it's gonna come. It's gonna come forward. They're letting you know it's coming forward. Like this is what you've been praying for. So, mm -hmm. um, and a healing has been going on, and a healing's been happening for you. So, it is just like allowing and, and enjoying, and when it happens, to really open your heart to receive, and not necessarily. And you don't have to be the giver, you because okay. you normally are like the, the overgiver. So now it's like what? receiving and then giving, allowing it to come to you and then giving. That's oh. the little bit of difference I see for you. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. I I, I hope that validate. I, I think it is validate what what I feel and what I hear. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely a confirmation. And I love to use um, my writing when I'm unsure of something or a message. So go ahead and just mm -hmm. write your message to the I angels did. and just you know let it all out. Perfect. So I write Perfect. it, and then I sometimes I pray and I uh, burn it. When, when I pray so it come up mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know why I do that I just feel like that's what they want me to do so that's what I was doing. I love that and that's that's following that's that's beautiful yeah okay mm -hmm. well thank you so much Jeannie that, that you're, really you're most welcome better. love well have right, a good honey. night well you more. have a beautiful night you thank too you. good night bye, -bye honey good night sweetie no mm -hmm. Ah, oh, she's a doll. Beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Yes, awesome. And Super cool. Whew, so lovely. Yeah, I wasn't sure what she was trying to say, but she was getting all the signs. I know. Yeah. And so, and plus my mind, like, when I'm all over the place, because yeah. I was on that social media, and then I was like, wait a minute, and then I was like, should I go back on and find See, you? that's why I shut you down. Yeah, we shut it down. Shut you down. Yeah, sure. I do have to plug myself in so it can be a little calmer. You be present. Uh, yeah. You just said that. I just got to be present, right. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about your story. So I was going to tell a little bit about my story. One of my little backstories, um, I, you know, because we all have a lifetime of... of events and stories that we can we can share um, but this particular one I thought was a lot of a lot of fun and it anyways well let me let me go back so like in the mid 80s you know I was 20 and it was during this time that I was just married and I had just given birth to my first baby and I was 20 you know I was lost and at 20 you don't want to hear advice from a parental unit <laughs> A parental, a parental unit, no. and um, and uh, oh my Lanta, she's calling my phone. Um, uh, your uh, your guest? Yeah, she's calling my phone. So okay. now I'm see now I'm off again. So uh, let me okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. This is the uh, genie story on hold. Please. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Oh, hi, yeah. Um, so anyways, it was during this time that, you know, I, I was searching for help, you know, because you you don't really want to listen to your parents. And I didn't have any friends that had babies. And I would spend hours and hours, you know, up at night rocking, walking and swaddling my newborn colicky baby. She, she just was so colicky. She wouldn't sleep. She was backwards. You know, so she would be up all night and then sleep during the day. And I was exhausted. I didn't understand how to, to transfer her sleeping patterns. And, I, you know, this is the thing. We all have this type of, you know, connection to our past. And I started to search and search because I was desperate for sleep on answers. And this is when I started to find books. And one book in particular was the Dr. Spock book. Oh, yeah. Baby and Child Care. This came, it's, this came my, like, Bible. Yeah. And so once I had that book, that was my go-to when I ever I had a question. Then more books found their way to me. And this, this, 
shelf of books is what I found to be um, these authors were my confidants. They were they were my advisors, and they were always right there for me. So what I found from this experience was not only were they like there for me, they they were illuminating that I could I could have this confidence as a mother um, and illuminated how I could be a good wife and then eventually how to become an author because it's real life experiences that you share and how you tell your story, how you how you reach out and help another person. That's what we're all here for in some way, shape or form. So I feel like God is always throwing us a phone. He's always like guiding us and and sharing like little steps for us, things that are important for us. But what happens, you know, over over time is it's evolved. Like our information isn't simple, just books. Now we have information. We have the World Wide Web. <laughs> we have we have we have we have Google. We have Crackbook. We have we have we have instant information at our fingertips. And so the problem with this instant information is that we become completely overloaded with information. We get a little bit lost in what I call that white noise. And then I feel like we get stuck in this guru trap because we want a, we want a personal experience. We want to, we want to change our lives. So we'll find this one, you know, person, this, this person we love or follow kind of like I did with Dr. Spock, but they'll become our everything. They'll become our, our guru. Um, so we'll follow them and we'll connect with their story and their offerings and we'll kind of go into their, their methods. But this, this can really confuse us because not all that information is meant for us. Like, so God will give this to us, but now we're an overload. So we don't know what to discern is for us, what's for us and what's for another person. So do you understand this? Or am I, I don't know because I, yeah, that, that's what my, um, that's okay. You don't have to put this one in. That's where my instincts kick in. Yes. But that's, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about because it is that intuition that we're not following because we've lost sight of our own guidance system, right? So it might sound really good and because we're lost, because we're like, oh yeah, this will be really good for me. But then again, you know, I connect with this person, I connect with their story, I, I feel like they have something really great to offer, but it's not in alignment with our goddess truth. You know, this we each have that that alignment, you know, and it's not just male, female, this is all of us, we all are this, uh, we're all here and we can all connect to our highest soul self. So that's what that is, that God is self. And so what happened to me along that, along the journey, which it happens to, uh, it happens to so many of us, we get lost, we get stuck, we get, we get feeling really crappy and we even can feel like we're not supported by God. We feel like, you know, why is my life suck? Why don't I have any money? Why are things so hard? And why does she or he seem to have it all? And I don't. So this is what the, the angels have shown me is that is that lower energy, that feeling of lack and where we get really stuck. I, I listened to this really great um, podcast today and the guy was talking about um, a little bit of the same same theory in a completely different tone but he said he said this one line that caught me and he said you know evil lives here which which I always say he said and people get stuck in that evil they get stuck in that lack because when it becomes about money and not of service that's where we go and evil spelled backwards is live so when we're in our life when we're living then there is no evil then when we're actually living in our highest soul self when we're we're sharing and, and caring and showing gratitude. Well, that's the magic. I love that little. I love that little analogy. I love that because when we think we're we're moving in our alignment, but then we get stuck and we feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not making it right. And how many times have we even had this conversation? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's human nature. Like you want to obviously we want it faster. We want, it, we, want it fast. we want it faster. We want to succeed. We want to be. We want happiness, but what we think is happy, we put a value to that happy. We have to follow what we feel that's, that's so important. Right. When you give back, and I was just talking to Ivy Stalls about this, I said, it's very important for us to give back. You know, everything it is. we do, is, it, it's, it's important. Right, it's, exactly. 
even if it's just a little, it's just a little. So, yes, that's where. And so, when we're in that flow, when we're when we're in our own goddess self, and we can identify what love is, and then what this crappy fear is. That's when our intuition can kick in. That's when we can understand. That's when we can make a balance. But for most of us, you know, there we look for that quick fix. We want we want instant rewards, right? We do. Instantaneous. We want that. Speaking of instantaneous, we have a caller. We have a caller. A caller. Okay. So uh, then, when we come back um, after my caller, I am going to share with you. I'm going to share with you. Um, how you can reconnect to your intuitive guidance with what I'm calling the three love sparks. Very simple things that you can do right now, tonight. So it's riveting. Grab your journal, and I'll be back to you in just riveting. 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 All right. Okay. And now I'm going to take a call, loves. So, all right. Let's go. We're ready. Okay, thank you. Hello, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? Jeannie, this is Carmel. Hi, Carmel. How are you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good. This is, this is the number of people calling, right? <laughs> You're on the right number now, yes, yes. I called my cell phone and I was like, oh, wait, I can't answer that. I'm on air. <laughs> so. Yeah. How Perfect. are you doing? It sounds great. I'm, I'm great. So nice to hear your voice. And let me, let's introduce you really quick so our audience knows who I'm talking to. I did a little bit of intro because I didn't get your bio. Um, but you okay. and I are both like so busy. We're, we're flying around. Um, so I have on the on the line here, Carmel Clark, and I'm going to let you tell the story of who you are. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. So I, I am a master coach and a professional instigator, uh, speaker, and an author, and I've been doing transformational work, developing my method for about the last two decades. And I was on my island for a long time, not understanding and seeing other people's processes out there as I was working with my own clients. And it created a really interesting and singular experience for me in developing my own authority in the work that I do. The The basis of what I do and, and what I teach is bringing people back to their own authority. So I look at my own path and see how unknowingly it was it was actually leading me into the core of the work that I'm carrying forward now on a global level. So I lead, I travel all over the world. I live all over the world. I lead international women's retreats. I also do uh, weekend transformational retreats, which of course we, we can talk about. And my book is with the publisher right now, and I'm looking for that to be published this year coming out. My book is The Transformation Effect. And it is about how each of us are the transformation effect. Unintentionally, we are the spark of transformation within ourselves and others all the time. And what is possible when we learn how to understand that and be intentional about it instead of it just being unintentional all the time. So that's a, wow. that's a recap. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, so here's this Carmel who's like absolutely unbelievable, traveling the world, um, and independent, like she's she doesn't live one place. So you're living, you're you're in Italy, you're in you're in all over the world. It's just it's incredible. Like I love I love how you're working. Um, yeah. So it, what do you call it? How do you what? Yeah, I call it location 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 independence. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I love that. That's a great term. Yeah. So we're yeah. really excited because. Carmel is actually coming to Connecticut, which I know you've come to do retreats in our area, um, but we're going to host you at In Spirit Healing Studio, nice. which I'm so excited. Yes. Look, at here's the flyer so you can see. Um, I did post the flyer in our Angels Don't Lie group, and it's on our In Spirit Healing Studio page. And I'll throw it out. I'll keep you taking Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a great weekend. Your Friday night, you're doing a, a soul soiree. Do you want to tell yes. everybody about that? I love that. And because that's open to the public, correct? 
Yeah, that's open to everybody to come. The so sorry where that evolved out of is that I find all too often we take ourselves too seriously and we have this idea when we're going to be going into a space for our own transformational work that Uh, It's good to go inside, it's good to be quiet, it's good to prepare, but it's also really good to be able to connect with people in in, in a totally fun, relaxed, open, um, delicious, beautiful kind of way. And so the soul Mm. story is really to open that up for everybody because transformation happens in us all the time. Sometimes we just have this feeling like I need to go here and and do this or I just need to show up over, you know, at this event or something like that. And the Soul Story is a space where I want everybody who feels the the pull to come and be part of this and participate. Uh, You know, many people that have worked with me um, or are working with me will be coming and people who haven't, you know, will be coming and it's just an opportunity for us to come together and experience this wonderful, delicious, deep connection without have you know, without also that deep dive into our own work. That will happen the next day for those who choose to come. But this is that opportunity to just come swim in that deliciousness. We're going to have some great music and wonderful uh, little foods to eat. And uh, I'm just going to be asking some questions. We're going to have inquiry cards and we're going to have some other wonderful things happening that evening that are just this ability to kind of engage with each other and with ourselves in a less than serious, really fun um, wonderful, amazing way. So that's the soul soiree, the, the vision for that. I find that when people do that and then they come together into the deeper work, they automatically dive deeper and trust themselves more instead of this kind of front end, okay, who's this person? Who's that person? How are they going to think about me? And all of that. We get past that really quick when we do the, the fun the night before and whoever's ready to come to to join us in those 20 spots on Saturday, they're just able to walk in and immediately feel this deep comfort, this deep relaxation and go, go in fast and deep for the work we're going to do. Nice. Um, so I love that. I think it's going to be a beautiful weekend. So this is April 27th and April 28th. And there is a link right on in Spirit Healing Studios website that you can go to. And Carmel, can you give them your website as well? So they can, if they want to go directly to your website, they can go there as well. Yes. So this is actually, the website for this is um, is kind of long um, because it's a, it's a page that people can register straight from. So if they go to carmelclark.lpages.co and then it's forward slash uh, wake up call retreat. So maybe the best way to do that, Jeannie, I'm, I think it's probably going to be best to go to your website to be able to access yes. that. So, yeah. what, so what I, I guess what I was trying to do is just get them, you know, if they wanted more information about you. So oh. that's right. If you want to sign up for the <laughs> workshop, they, they go to definitely in spirit healing studio. But if you want to know more about Carmel Clark and her work and location independence, which is, it's hard for us to grasp, <laughs> uh, but they can go to your website, and that's just that carmelclark.com? Yeah, Perfect. that's correct. Location. It's just carmelclark.com. Two L's, Carmel. No. KJ's, KJ can't get, she can't grasp it. She's like, where does she live? And I texted her as you were talking. I'm like, she's independent independent located she's like doesn't live one place she's like and we, I, uh, well, I don't understand <laughs> <laughs> she it is, it is kind of crazy Things. Just you and your tweezer on the road? Yeah. What? You and your tweezer on the road. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I you know, I did have a home base up until about last September, but I was living about half my time outside the US and I had created that with this company that I just started six years ago. I created that and started living that way about four years ago. And, you know, there's a very important reason for that to kind of just insert if if you don't mind um, I I found that something in me was leading me toward what, my greater work. And that meant that I needed to be able to live and experience that inside myself first. 
So uh, I, I live all over the world, uh, different places at different times for different amounts of time. I meet people from everywhere. And this greater work that I am carrying forward and raising consciousness is helping people to, on the ground, realize what it means that we are all connected because too often people speak to that, but they don't know how to live that. And that's what I've been living for these all these years now, that uh, I meet people with different backgrounds, different religious persuasions, different um, life experiences, different cultures, different languages, and I find that we are all the same, and they find that we are all the same, and then I get to tell those stories. And as I tell those stories, even in our differences, uh, and being able to share that, it makes everybody less afraid or more trusting, which is my goal, for us to be able to trust ourselves and realize that we have this ability to trust each other. And that's what I think is really going to bring about the shift and the healing in our world that everybody wants so desperately. Love it. Yeah, beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to see you in Spirit Healing soon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really. <laughs> Me too, darling. <laughs> Well, and I'm really excited uh, for you for your book because um, it's just, it's such an, an enjoyable process, you know, publishing your work and, and reaching people and, and helping people. So it's it's very rewarding and I know that it's going to be amazing and life and life changing. So yes, I'm really excited. You do know that. <laughs> yeah. You've, you've done that route. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun to fly out of our nests. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, thank so you so much for calling in and taking the time. And and I know that um, I'm looking forward to meeting you and coming to the Soul Soiree and you know hosting hosting your wake up call at In Spirit. Yes, me as well, Jenny. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. And if anybody has any questions, they can find that on the website that you have. And I hope to see everybody there uh, that has been called, that they feel that and they're ready for that wake-up call. I would love to have you join me and join you as well. Um, so thank you so much for this. Appreciate it. Thank you, honey. All right. Well, safe travels wherever you're going thank next. You. Yes. All right. Yeah. Then see you oh, next week. <laughs> Okay. Bye. All right. Bye bye. I can't. I, I can't believe it's next week already. That's right. It's like right around the corner. This month has gone so fast. So fast. It's like Ricky Bobby fast. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Because if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm referencing, yes, then you haven't been hanging out with me enough, and you should yes. catch up. Actually, that's one of Casey's favorite we, movies. We reference stupid movies in my family because I have four children, and and this is what we do. We I watch movies, we hang yes. out, we are silly. So, here we go. Welcoming back. Welcoming back. I'm going to share with you... My three love spark tips for you to ignite your intuition tonight. Okay. Okay? Because it's really, it can be this easy. Um, it doesn't have to be this difficult. Okay. It, it doesn't have to be. We don't have to be this stressed all the time and wondering. So, number one, are you ready? This is, this is important stuff. Number one, surrender. Surrender is letting go of control of what you believe you need and allowing love to lead you to true abundance. So surrender. It's not an easy thing for most of us to do. But when you can let go and let God, you let Jesus take the wheel, well, everything else is going to change. Listen to the song. Carrie Underwood has a beautiful song. Um, it Really, it changes everything. So surrender. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. two, 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 two. It's gratitude. Amen. Remembering what you do have is far more rewarding and productive than thinking of the lack. So if you're living in, my glass is half empty, I don't have enough, and if you aren't practicing gratitude, it can't come to you. Abundance cannot come to you when you're in that frame of mind. The third thing, the number three... three I lost it because I was like looking at you <laughs> is love and this doesn't mean to love somebody else this means self-love 
This means you've got to love you first and the rest will fall into place. If you don't love you, you give other people permission not to love you. There it is. End of story. So your abundance will come to you when you are in that alignment, when you are loving, when you are grateful, and when you surrender. Don't you point at me. What are you no, pointing no. at? <laughs> what are you pointing at me, sister? I, I, no, I'm pointing out what my... Um, Susan says, Susan S. says, my cat's name is Ricky Bobby. Her cat's name is Ricky Bobby? <laughs> Shut the front door. Yes, and I always say if you're not first, you're last. Okay, so, so, oh my gosh, one of our listeners is on Angels Don't Lie, and she just posted that her cat's name is Ricky Bobby. This just in. Yeah. <laughs> this just in. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. Okay. I love that. That's really, it's crazy. <laughs> So, um, what what can I do for you? What can I do for you if you're ready to experience your greatness, but you're unsure if you can do this on your own? What can I do for you if you're ready to heal what no longer is serving you, but you're unsure and you're unable to know what those blocks are? Here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give you a complimentary 15-minute phone call. And I'm going to talk to you on this 15-minute call about a transformational session. There is no obligation during our phone call. So in this initial call, I'm going to answer your questions and I'm going to share how this session will actually connect you to your dreams and your goals while illuminating your beautiful soul self. So you can go right to my website on GenieStreet.com. You can hit the little button that says book now and there's a 15 minute Ignite Ignite call and it's free nice. and you can book it um, if you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> you're so cute. You're so cute. And like I said, this and because e- these transformational sessions are going to be set up independently, it's I mean, um, not independently. That's my word. Now it's stuck in my head. They're going to be set up individually yeah. because um, the angels will. The, I like to let the angels lead. So they're transformational sessions. Um, it may be four one hour sessions. It may be. It may be two, it may be one, but we'll we'll go and we'll let the angel show us what's going to be that guide, um, and you'll have everything that you need. So if you're feeling like you need something more, if you don't have those answers, I definitely can help you, um, because none of us should feel trapped. None of us should feel alone. I know what that's like. That's a very nice gift to give 15 minutes of that. It's very nice to give minutes. You know me. I always like to, I like to share it. Because <laughs> it's done. caring is sharing, and it if you is. and if you are are living, if you are living with that love, and you know that God has your back, it doesn't. Everything else is going to be fine. It's all going to work itself out. She put a picture of Ricky her cat. Bobby. She put her. <laughs> she put a freaking picture of Ricky Bobby. I love it. Thank, you, girl, thank girl, you. Thank you. Thank you. That is hysterical. Hey, we love to see all of your pets. Uh, that's a really great thing to shout out to. Let's do um, a little pet. Okay, so to pet tomorrow pet. I'm going. Um, tomorrow I'm going. My husband's totally cracking up. Tomorrow I'm going to Goat Boy Soap, and I'm going to take some photos with the new baby goats. <laughs> and you know what, guys? After the show, go look up Goat Boy Soaps because they have a live feed of one of the goats having a baby. Right now. Two, there's two babies coming out. So don't leave now. Don't do it right yeah, now. Stay on, yeah, stay on the show. Stay on the show. Finish it out and then go on Facebook and look it up because... Buttercup has a couple more hours to go. Yeah, yeah okay. so you won't miss it. So, um, yes, it's, a, it's really quite... Yes, love to Buttercup. Love to Buttercup. So, you want to talk about my nutritional tip? Yes, please. Oh, wait, there was something else I had. Wait, it flew out of my head. Wait a minute. Where is it? Let me grasp it. Where'd you go? Come here, come here, idea. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell everybody. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at her go. <laughs> KJ has has booked me a gig, so I have my first live audience reading in July in Merrick, New York, Long Island. Yes, we're working on that. He's going to pitch the idea to the Merrick. Yes. Okay. And um. It's not my book yet, but look for that. Oh, it's, it's so exciting, though. Yeah, and if Ivy, if you're listening, you know how excited I am, and I 
literally can't believe it. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're hoping to have this all in the works. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's signed, sealed, delivered. So, yes. So keep your eyes on that. Woo! Keep your eyes out for, yes, we're bringing Ivy to Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's going to be a blast. Right. Yep. So the empath series that I'm going to do on, on Saturday, you know, I was thinking about how to tell people about it um, because we're going to do a little bit more on past empaths and coming up. <coughs> I have a master class I'm working on for Goddess University. And I was like, well, how am I going to tell, you know, a normal person? You know, not everybody understands energy or the words or they think it's crazy. So I thought, well, we could have some fun with this, right? We could be like telling like little jokes. And so this is what KJ was talking about earlier. I was like, came to it just like flew in. This is what happens. It came in, and I was like, all right, I'm going to make this fun, and I'm going to do like a little Jeff Foxworthy. I'm going to be like, you know, you know, you're a redneck if, but I'm going to change it, and so you might be an empath. So, so here's one for you. Just, just throw it out. Just going to throw it out there. Throw it. Okay. If. Wait a minute, i got to get my list, because now I'm going to cry. Now I'm going to cry because I'm laughing, so I'm going to laugh, and I want to get it right, and I don't want to mess it up, because they're funny. Shut up. Everybody. I liked when the one that you said, you might be an empath if yes. you bring rocks in from outside. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even find my list. All right, so, oh, because I'm looking in the wrong notebook. Duh. Don't panic, don't panic. Jeannie. Don't That's because I have like a million and one notebooks, you guys. I'm always taking notes, and I'm just crazy like that. Sunny. Yeah, so if you know what sage is and how to use it, you might be an empath. <laughs> if you're more concerned with your aura than your 401k, you might be an empath. <laughs> And you're videoing these, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to video these. If you prefer talking to animals over humans, you might be an empath. <laughs> if you ask somebody what their sign is before their name, you might be an empath. <laughs> All right, so if you've answered yes to any of those questions, you need to come see me on Saturday. Twenty nine ninety seven, you guys, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, we're talking and absorb things. Oh, my Atlanta. All right, so let me do my nutritional tip before we run out of time. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, whatever. This is known as the queen of herbs. The queen of herbs. If we're talking about queens. my favorite things. We're talking about queens, but this is the queen of herbs. And it works... It works on a physical and an emotional level, which I think is interesting if you are fascinated by energy like I am. Um, this this is the bomb. So holy basil is what we're talking about. And it's not your regular basil. It's holy basil. Holy basil is also known as telsi, and it's um, a shrub or plant which has so many healing um properties in it it's unbelievable so it's a natural remedy for people that have anxiety so that's uh, incredible right there so if you suffer from anxiety you can make yourself holy basil tea a uh, tulsi tea and it will work with you it's an adaptogen meaning that it will work with your body it, it marries into your energy which is lovely um it's an ayurvedic herb so that's what they um if you study ayurvedic medicine which means nothing to you. She's rolling her eyes. So I didn't know um, I didn't know. she's smiling. Whatever. She's I'm she's smiling. like I'm you're smiling. an idiot. I'm still on Queen Herbs. <laughs> queen of Herbs. Um, it's all it, it aids in adrenal fatigue. So this is a really thing, big thing, especially for empaths, because um, most people that are energy sensitive empaths, they have they have um, adrenal issues. They tend to have fibromyalgia, aches and pains. Um, and they can also have, um, I lost the word of what it is, so I'll come back to that. Oh, God, Jeannie. So, anyways, <laughs> God bless America. Okay, so <laughs> adrenal fatigue, hyperthyroidism, um, 
it can also help balance uh, blood sugar. So when you have too high or too low, which is another sign of being an empath, is when your blood sugars are, are off balance. Um, and it, it really can help with acne, which is quite incredible. Really? Yes. Yep. Uh, it's a natural cancer treatment, and it's being well known uh, to really do do amazing things. This holy basil? This holy basil. It is. Holy moly. There are some practitioners are, are recommending you do it before chemo because it actually is that incredible. Uh-huh. Um, it also works with any kind of respiratory respiratory issues. So if you have asthma or um, anything in the really upper respiratory, right. really incredible for healing that and really helping right. helping you through those stress times. It's an excellent source of vitamin K, which Vitamin K is hard to get into our body, and vitamin K uh, works with the heart and actually for bone health. So for women, for osteoporosis, this is a a no-brainer. Also, it can relieve headaches, take that stress headache away. It also amazing for arthritis. It's amazing for stomach issues because it's antimicrobial. It's amazing for fibromyalgia because it's anti-inflammatory. So this is an amazing tea, and I've made... I made uh, my lovely friend here, KJ, some tea tonight. It was with, delicious, dear. With a little holy basil in and it. And I'll tell you, I feel great. Uh, she does. She looks. She's glowing. <laughs> yes. And you guys on, on the Facebook Live, you saw her hair. It instantly grew from holy basil. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm totally lying right now. It's like Lion King tonight. Oh, I can't do it. I will totally <laughs> sing. No, 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 She's no. like, stop yeah. it. Things will start breaking, Jeannie Street. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I love you too. So, um, <laughs> oh my lucky! Yeah. I love lucky. Lucky Gambino. Oh my lucky girl. The singer of angels don't lie. Yes. Yeah. Wow. This was a good show, and it? I'm really, and I'm telling you right now, this tea is good. It is good, right? It's a, it's a feel good. Like you feel good. Yeah. So this particular tea has holy basil and it has some other things in it as well uh, to work with the third eye and the heart chakra. So we're op- it, they're known to work with those energy centers. Yeah. So um, heart meeting around that blood and and that connection and the third eye meaning the center of our forehead. So opening opening all that energy. Connection. What connecting? Connecting, connecting, connecting. you to to truth. Yeah, which is a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of goodness. Kathy loves the show tonight. Kathy Sling. Oh, hi, Kathy. Trish is in the house. Yeah, tell me who else is in there. Trish, hi, Trish. Since I'm not allowed on Facebook, you guys, I gotta. Susan, Susan. hi, Susan. We have hope. I'm gonna get all these girls out. Oh, here I wanted to tell you guys a story. Wait. Oh, the um, Barbara Bush, the first lady, passed away. Um, yeah, at the age of 92. But she was surrounded by all of her... She was surrounded. Brian had called me, he called me earlier and he read me this letter, um, which which I didn't get. Um, but it was a beautiful letter um, from back in the day. They were together, Brian, would you say, how many years? 78 80. 80 years. 80 years. 80 years. 80 years. So, think it was 80 80 years. Years. so longest ever. Really? Uh, yeah, ever. Really. Amazing, but she was, uh, I, I read the whole story, and she was, you know, uh, actually, till the end, she was so worried about everybody else. Yes, yes. She so, like, um, God bless Barbara Bush you yes. know, and her family. Um, yes, yeah. yeah. She was a, a lovely, a lovely, lovely woman. woman. Yeah. The best first lady, yes. All right. All right. So what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Um, who else is, is there? Did you tell me everybody in there? Susan? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, so with Samantha? Sam. Samantha. Sam. How you doing, Sam? <laughs> uh, Kathy, she's got her New York. All right. Give me a second. So if you'd like to join our Angels Don't Lie group, we'd love to have you. We are always looking for new friends. And we're doing a little bit. We're going to get a little busy in there doing a little more, more Facebook Lives and connecting with you guys. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Okay, so I'm going to go through all this. We've got Maureen. Hi, Maureen. Of course, Ivy. Yes, Ivy. Um, Gina. Gina. Hi, honey. Did I say Maureen? I don't know. I think you said Maureen. Yes, you did. I think Kayreen is still hanging with us. Um, let's see. Casey? Are you with us? Hey, Casey, are you there? Yes, I'm here. 
How how are you doing? What's going on in your end of the end of the world? I'm doing great, actually. Just uh, getting things done. You know, works uh, keeping me busy and uh, busy with KBJB and around the house. You know, spring comes the yard little yard work. That's always uh, therapeutic for me. Yeah, get some on. But it's quite exciting that your website is up. Yeah. Right. It's exciting to see that uh, starting to I develop. Think that's fan. Fan tabulous. What are you pointing at me? Uh, we got uh, I, Pam Brooks. Pam Brooks. I ninety five. We need a couple prayers for her because oh, okay. she's having a little surgery. So. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Pam Brooks. Love you, girl. Uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of prayers coming over to you, Pam. Yeah. Okay. Just one. I, I I found Beautiful. one more benefit about the um, holy basil. It helps you um, yeah. sleep better and have better dreams. Yes. It's, there's so many things. And so, you know, I, 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 I just picked the top ones, but it's absolutely incredible when you look it up, right? Right. It's just amazing. I want to grow I'm one like, out in the front yard. Yeah. You need a little holy basil in your life. <laughs> He's got one. Uh, <laughs> you need a little holy basil in your life. Bam. And shout out to June. Uh, Girls else listening? Yep. June is moving. June, June, June and, and Judy. June, June, June. All right, here it is. I want to read you guys this letter. Brian just brought it in. Okay. And this is, Brian, this is from uh, George. George. Senior. This is from George Senior to Barbara. Like in, in From 1943. Oh. I love you, precious, with all my heart. And to know that you love me means my life. How often I have thought about the immeasurable joy that will be ours someday. He wrote, good night, my beautiful. Oh. Every time I say beautiful... You about kill me, but you'll have to accept it. That's beautiful. Yeah. I just teared up. Beautiful. 1943. Yeah, Thank that you. was first. This was written from the, what is it, the future first lady in 1943. The lady, yeah, it was a yeah. letter to when he was away and, uh, yeah. in, in the service. Really beautiful. When he, was, when he was serving our country. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. It is amazing. Oh, I see it up. I really did. You know what, Casey? I I'm gonna embarrass Casey right Good. now. Embarrass him. Casey, um, you don't have to. I'm Casey, totally turning the turn. So, uh, Casey, um, wrote me when we first met, um, the story of our, our, our love. Aww. Kind of thing. So, I should read that on our air one day to really embarrass. Him. Right, hon? <laughs> there you go. I like that. We're He's breaking up on air. Can't right hear. You. Can't hear you over there. <laughs> I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I'm, I'm sorry. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> She's wiping her eyes. I it's all it's, it's all sensitive I'm, over I'm here. Where is she? I, I, who did I swallow? I don't know. I don't know. You keep talking about swallowing. What kind of show do you think this is? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no way. I'm sorry. Okay. Angels don't lie, baby. <laughs> oh, Kathy is. Kathy Gonzalez asks, where do we get such a tea? Where do you get this tea? Where do you get this tea? Yes. Where do you get the holy basil tea? Where do you get the cream and the basil? Uh, so you can look for Tulsi tea, and it's T-U-L-S-I. And I saw it in any health food store. I know I've seen it downtown in, in New Milford. So um, I'm not sure where you live, Kathy, but I'm sure if you have a local health food store, you can find it. Or you can actually um, buy holy basil um, from uh, apothecaries, different apothecaries, or you can go to like Mountain Rose Herbs. That's one of my favorite places to okay. go to. Um, place? Yes, Mountain Road. You buy kind of like in bulk in, with Mountain Rose Herbs, and you kind of need to know what you're doing. So, if you're unsure, you can you can send me an email to genie at geniestreet dot com. I can direct you. Um, if you're local in our area, I know both the health food store in Woodbury and in New Milford carry. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, and the apothecary also downtown in New Milford, um, she can she carries it. So, um, what is that? Twin Star Herbal. Twin Star Herbal. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, that's what we have. Gosh. So, so what's coming up? We what's coming up? Coming Let up. me tell you what's coming up. Okay. Saturday. Yes. Be there. Be square. At the studio in Spirit in Woodbury, we're doing an empath series. You're going to want to check it out. You're going to have fun. We're going to do a little meditation. We're going to have a little tea, and we're going to chat. Yes. Perfect. Love it. Um, then, 
um, let me get my let me get my calendar since it's I'm forgetting what 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 the month is leading. Um, so that is on Saturday. Then on the twenty. 26 at night it's going to be conversations with heaven that's a thursday night and you're supposed to be in the studio with me oh, yeah. um and then we're going to take that live so i have people coming in to the studio if you want to sign up this is a free event yeah. we're also going to broadcast it i'm hoping live on on youtube so we're working on the details the deets of that Okay, it will be on the angel store or YouTube page that we're, we're doing. Yes, okay. yes. And then um, on the twenty, the weekend of the twenty seventh and twenty eighth is Carmel's workshop weekend. So the Friday night is a soiree and it is open to the public. You do need to sign up, yes. and you can find all that information on the InspiritHealingStudio dot com. The wake up. All right, hold on, out there, listeners. We just lost Jeannie for some reason. That she um, needs to pay up her Skype bill again. I'm texting her right now. So anyway, uh, just to recap, we have Saturday for the the empath class, and you can find that all these on In Spirit Healing Studio. And then Thursday is a free class for connecting with heaven, and then Friday is another free class to kick off Carmel Clark, who's going to be there on Saturday. And there's a program that you can sign up for Saturday, but that, I believe, has a fee. I will, uh, I'm going to just play a little bit of uh, Jeannie's music here in the background and see if they're going to get back on here. I think that might just be the end of the show. <laughs> I'm not getting, uh, I'm not hearing back from Jeannie or Kathy, so I don't, I'm not sure if they lost internet or power over there or something. But um, anyway, everyone have a great great evening post up uh on angels don't lie tell genie that we missed her ending and as you know genie knows what she knows because angels don't lie have a great night all right we got her back i was just genie i was just doing your sign off i didn't know what happened over there (laughs) I know, it just kicked me offline. It's like, please add another quarter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I you said. You can no longer speak to your radio show. <laughs> we are back, we are back. We are I, ca- okay. I called it out to so, the listeners. I'm I said, so I'll sorry. bet uh, we need to reboot Skype again. We can't see what she yeah, we did. We're back. Oh, so here I am. I'm back. And I'm just in time to sign up. Just in time to sign up. But you know what, guys? I hope that you... Um, Take advantage of the opportunity to work with me, whether it's it's the 15-minute phone call, whether it's the empath event this week, or it's the conversations with heaven next week. And, you know, there's tons of ways that we can, we can transform our lives. There's tons of ways we can, we can work. So with that being said, I think I'm going to say, you know what I know, because angels don't lie. And I hope you have a very beautiful week. And remember that you're perfect in every way. And God bless. I'll see you next week right here on KBJB Radio. This is Jeannie Street, and I'm out of here. Good night.